Yeah, yeah. Sam, you've got some background noise going on. No, Maggie. I do? No, it sounds like someone's TV's on. I'll just mute you. Oh, it's fine. Um, if you guys... Um, just let me talk with you or anything. Um, okay, so... Uh, sorry, so Success Club. So, uh, congratulations to Maggie and Kelly. You guys are already both at Success Club. Maggie just messaged me that she's at Success Club 8, uh, which is awesome. And Kelly is at 6, um, and it's the 14th. Um, so, that's pretty awesome. I try to to make the – oh, I forgot. Oh, I'm recording. Yeah. Um, to make things as least, less, least stressful as possible to get Success Club by the 15th. Um, just kind of a mindset for a leader. If you're, if you're at Success Club by the 15th, you know, you spend the first two weeks building your business, ramping it up, getting there, and then spend the next, you know, two weeks, obviously. Oh, good. Hi, Anthony. Welcome. Um, you know, obviously you're still recruiting and still doing the same things, but your focus can switch where you're opening your challenge group and you're focusing on your coaches and you're helping your coaches get to Success Club. Um, Honestly, I have a really hard time with that because I like to focus my energy on my coaches because it's more fun and easy. <laughs> um, but I'm at successful four right now, so I should be at five, at five by the week, at six by the weekend. Um, but so, anyway, so Brooke, myself, um, and oh yeah, Rachel are all at Success Club four, and then um, Samantha. And Megan are at success and are at Success Club too. So you guys are doing awesome. It's it's still early in the month. This is a long month. We have plenty of time. Um, but keep pushing. I was on the power hour last night with with Nikki Goss's team, and that was fun. They did it a little bit differently. Um, it was kind of a good perspective to see. They Nikki is a big fan of the Power of Threes tracker, which is in the file section of our team page. But if you haven't seen it, um, I can post it again. Uh, so basically, she just went down that and did each block, and it took about 50 minutes. Um, it was just a different way to do it. It's all the same results and same, same concept. Um, so... I don't know where I was going with that. So with that, um, Samantha is going to be leading tonight's call on um, picking a program and sticking to it. I know, I think it was Rain Odell did a national wake-up call on this um, back in the wintertime, and it is so important. It's definitely something where I lack, which is why she's leading this one, because she rocks it. Um, Samantha was chosen for the 21-day fix. Um, I don't know how to explain it, like a, a T-shirt, a 21 day fix extreme, like t -sh not you know, like the recognition or um, – that means they could use her before and after pictures on any promotional thing. Tanya, actually, um, one of Sam's coaches, was chosen for the three-day refresh for that. So you do that by submitting your pictures, um, and then they contact you if, they, if you want to be, you know. So she could just one day get, you know, a new 21-day fix extreme, and her, or she'll never know even necessarily, you know, her picture could just be in it. Um, so it's pretty cool. Uh, she had amazing results with that. And every single time you submit a, your results from a program, you get a T-shirt. So I have, like, five million t-shirts upstairs it's great um so take it away samantha and guys if you have any questions unmute yourself or put them in the chat hello everybody happy thursday um all right i'm gonna share my screen can you guys can you see my screen awesome sauce oh i lost y'all I don't even, can someone just talk and tell me they can see me? Yeah, we can see you. Okay, because I can't see you all, so I'm just talking to myself over here. <laughs> all right, so um, a little bit, actually, hold on, I'm going to stop the presentation for a second so I can just talk to you guys for a second. So the reason I actually have based this it, on whomever did that national wake-up call um, last, it was October that um, the national wake-up call, uh, I don't remember who the coach was um, that did it about sticking with the program. And it kicked my butt into gear because I had started the 21 Day Fix and seen amazing results. I started in January 2015 uh, when my son turned six weeks. Uh, loved it. Um, 
did it really, like really consistently. I'd say like 90% and I got really good results from the 90% that I did. And then, um, you know, I did that for a while and then I, I dabbled in some other programs for a while and summer hit and I kind of um, really kicked into high gear in summer because summer's an easy time for me to stay fit and stay healthy. Um, and then in August, I had an injury. I got a concussion and I was not from working out from my husband's um, tire, his, his tire exploded um, near my head. So I got a concussion from that, from the pressure. And I was out for probably a solid week where like I, I was out of work. I was out of everything. And I mean, you guys know this, an injury, an illness, a, a vacation, being off track is getting back on track can be really hard. So that was August. So September, I really putzed around. I did like Brazilian butt lift for two days. And then I did like P90X3 for a day. And then I did... 21 day fix for a week and then I did nothing for a week and October came around in this national wake up call and she basically it was like a gut check for me she's like have you ever done a program start to finish like really done a program have you really done it and I was like no nope, not really I've like done programs but I haven't like done a program and it has always been my dream to do p90x um, it is not something that is in my goal is on my dream board right now when I am a full-time beach body coach and I am home more during the day that will be one of my first things to to accomplish 90 minutes is not something I'm I'm wanting to commit to right now I have other priorities but I can do a half hour so I said all right um I had been doing 21 day fix for so long I knew I needed to step it up so that's when I decided to do the 21 day fix extreme I kind of just ordered it one day and I was like all right I'm gonna do it and, and of course, I waited till Monday to start because we always start things on Mondays. I don't know why, but for me, it's always good to start something on a Monday. And I didn't even look at the calendar to count out the 21 days. And during those 21 days, it was my son's first birthday party. It was Halloween and it was my niece's birthday party. And, and there might have been another giant cookie cake food fest in there somewhere. And I said... And I had said to myself, I am sticking to this tooth and nail. I will not use a cheat. I will not do anything. Uh, so that made it just even more difficult, which I think having those things in there almost fueled me because I was even more proud of myself. Like if, if I can be successful on a random Saturday, I'm proud of myself. If I can be successful on my son's first birthday and bake his cookies and cupcakes and not eat them, I can be really, really proud of myself. So that actually worked out well. I didn't need to dang peanut butter cup in those Halloween baskets, I tell you, but I wanted to. Um, so, and yes, I had amazing results physically, but for my business, they were even more amazing. Um, and I'll go into that. I don't know if I had my before and after pictures on here, no, but I can share those if anyone's interested. Um, they were uh, the best results I've had. And that program was, is my, is, and will always be my favorite program unless I find something better. Um, so, okay, I'm going to go ahead with my, um, with my PowerPoint. All right. So, you know, we always talk about one of the three vital behaviors being, um, be a product of the product, but this is so much more than that. It's easy to make a shake and, you know, take a picture and, and share it on, on Facebook. Um, you know, it's easy to do a sweaty selfie. Um, you know, it's easy to, to show, you know, a great dinner you had, but those are pieces of it. This is the whole thing. And it's a really, um, it's a story you're telling um, through your social media more than just snippets here and there. And, but it's also um, really showing yourself how disciplined you are and how committed you are. Um, and it builds amazing trust in your, your followers. Um, so really pick a program, any program. It, it doesn't matter. You can do Brazilian butt lift carnival. You could do, or you could do P90X. You could do slim and six. It doesn't matter. Pick one and, and decide to do it. It's the a la carte, uh, is not a program. And trust me, I've been there, done that. I still do a la carte from time to time. So, um, how to pick a program is really important. So First off, what interests you? Like, if you don't like cardio at all, or you hate dancing, don't pick size just because it's the newest program, or you know, don't pick Masters Hammer and Chisel if that's not something you care about. If you don't like bodybuilding or lifting weights, 
Also focus on what your goals are. You know, how would you talk to a challenger? If you were a challenger, what would you suggest to them? What would fit them? Um, and then what can you do and what will you do? Those are really important. Um, can you, like P90 is a goal of mine. Can I do it right now? Probably. I, I am capable of doing that kind of exercise. It would be intense for me and it would definitely be something I'd have to modify for a while. Will I do it? No. Um, I could make 90 minutes in the day um, to do this, but I probably have to get up at 3.30 or 4 in the morning. And that's not important to me ever. Um, or I would have to do it at 10, 11 o'clock at night, or I would miss time with my kids or a lot of other things. And that's not my priority right now. So I chose something that was a half hour. And also something that might spark an interest in your customers. So always knowing who your niche market is, who is your, I know in the training group we're talking, or we talked last week about your avatar, your, your ideal customer or coach, what, what are they interested in? You know, um, if, if you're a, a guy that has a ton of bodybuilding and, and gym rats, and I use that, that saying with love because I love, I have a lot of gym people that I really like, and I think there's a really good way to engage them. But doing country heat that's coming out this, this summer, that might not really work for your constituency. I mean, your, um, <laughs> your niche. So, so think about that. That that's, shouldn't necessarily be the guiding factor, but I knew I have a lot of people that only have about 10 pounds to lose and that have a real high dedication, at least at the beginning. And so I knew my customers were going to be really interested in extreme. Um, so what does it sticking to a program look like? Um, does that mean never, ever having any cheats? For me, it did, definitely. I needed, I'm kind of an all or, all or nothing girl. Like the second I eat one m and I eat 82. Um, so that's what it looked like for me. That doesn't necessarily have to mean what it looks like for you. But you definitely need to do the meal plan. Almost every program we have comes with a meal plan. If not, there are ways to modify the 21-day fixed meal plan um, to go with a program because it's not just about the workouts. It's the whole body. But most programs do come with um, an eating plan. Um, Shakeology, every day. Shakeology is a non-negotiable part of every single program because the way I view it, we don't sell workout programs. Uh, we don't sell nutrition plans. We sell systems. This is a system that we have. The 21-day fix comes with Shakeology, containers, meal plans, DVDs for workouts or on demand. They come with a challenge group. They come with accountability. That's a whole system that we're selling. That's what you're really committing to as if you were a challenger. So those three, the meal plan, Shakeology, and workouts are the main thing. But what sticking to a program really looks like is completion. Not, you know, I might be giving a little tough love here, but I'm also giving it to myself. Um, I have started like six programs and I have finished like one and a half. So really only one. Um, you know, Extreme was the only one I did start to finish for 21 straight days, no cheats. Uh, didn't miss a workout. Even on the day that I had a, oh yeah, I had a 5K in there that I had committed to already with a friend. I still did my workout that night because a 5K uh, was not my workout for that day. Um, so completion is really, really, really important. It's important for you. It's important to have confidence in yourself. Um, I know the, the person that did the national wake up call said she had done P90X and she said, uh, and she had gone through some hard times in her life life as most coaches and everyone in the world has and she was going through some hard time she said if I can make it through P90X I can literally do anything in the world and you know I can conquer any demons I can I can go through any tragedy I can do anything and so it's really important um, so I did just want to take oops, boop, 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 a minute and I just wanted to like make this part interactive how have you guys notice that the, a program has helped you uh, physically, mentally, with your business. What have you guys noticed? You can unmute yourselves. All right. Um, I know for me, when I post my before and after pictures, 
uh, I get like challenge packs up the wazoo every time. Literally, someone's like, "Oh, I'm ready to buy." I'm like, "I've been talking to you for like eight months and nothing." But the second I post a before and after picture, um, people go wild. Wild, it's like it's and real, and not like other things. Yeah, exactly. Like people know. Like it's easy to look at the infomercial and be like yeah sure that person just probably naturally skinny or they're naturally athletic like not like you know this girl that they know used to be overweight and used to like pretend to faint in field hockey practice because she was too lazy to finish it like you know oh she can do this oh if she can do this I can do this um, so definitely um, business wise I can share for me oops I'm already sharing <laughs> um, for me it's helped um, with my discipline. Um, I'm a Sapphire gem, if you hadn't noticed. And, mm -hmm. um, so from the way that comes out for me is I'm a little scat. I'm not, um, always committed. Like I'll do a lot in this for a while and then I'll go back to that for a while. But the discipline and the regimen it took to, to complete a program really kind of just seeped into everything else because my meal plan, it was run like, like clockwork and I didn't have to think about it. And I, I knew like, I'm doing this and then I'm doing that and then I'm doing that. And then it bled into my business in a really positive way. I was able to, um, in November was, um, it's now been surpassed, but for a while, November, the month I finished this program was my biggest month. Like, I mean, by a lot of money and success club points and, um, and volume, it was just a great, great month. And I know it was this program. I know it was this program. And like Katie said, I um, was selected um, as a finalist in the Beach Body Challenge. So I was up for the $100,000, but they usually give that to people that have lost like 200, 300 pounds and have these like fantastic transformation stories, not just 21 days. Um, so did, I, I fell a little short of that, but you know, I could be in an infomercial still and I could be featured. Um, and just talking about that, just talking about how I was selected, people had literally no idea what it meant to be selected for the beach body challenge. All they knew was I did something, I was successful and I was being recognized. That made, that brought attention to what I was doing and, and validity. So there's a lot of different ways that this helps. All right. So we'll go back to that. Um, all right. So these are just, quotes that, that really um, sit with me when I'm thinking about completing a program. So strive for progress, not perfection. We're trying to get better every single day in what we're doing. We're trying to show our followers um, and the people that we inspire every day, especially the people that you don't know you inspire. Because I promise you there are people out there you don't know you inspire, and you do. Uh, show them that you're just making progress. You're better than you were yesterday. You're going to have slip-ups, but you're going to get back up and you're going to finish something. They're not asking you to be perfect. Like I didn't wake up the morning I started the 21 Day Fix Extreme and had no more cravings and had, you know, no more desires to miss a workout. You know, I finished that program and it didn't turn me into the perfect, you know, health and nutrition person. I have missed plenty of workout and um, plenty of, of meal plans and, and things like that since I started that. One thing I have not missed since I finished the 21 Day Fix Extreme is a day of Shakeology. That really kicked it into high gear of how important my Shakeology was to me and how much it meant to me physically and mentally. So that was, that was one of my takeaways. Um, can someone read to me what the, the brown one in the top corner says? My, my screen's covering it and I can't move it. Do good and good will come to you. Ah, yes. I love that quote. It's all about just showing someone that it's possible. You are doing good every day. Uh, Katie just posted this in the training group the other day, adding value to someone else's life, showing what you're doing, the behind the scenes of being someone that's working on their health and fitness is doing good every day. You are putting value into other people's lives. Not every, I did post every, obviously I post every day, but I posted every day about my progress with the 21 day fix extreme. And I didn't, not every day I asked, do you want to join me? I didn't ask every day for someone to buy a check. Back. I didn't ask every day, um, you know, if someone was ready to be a coach because I was doing it. I just added value. I added inspiration. I added motivation. I added accountability to them. I added um, 
trust. Um, I built a, I built a lot of relationships with a lot of now customers because of that, because they knew I could do it. So I was just, just out there putting it all out there, being extraordinarily vulnerable. My before and after pictures were extraordinarily vulnerable for me because I had let my body get to a place I had not, it had not been in a while when I first started that. Um, and then, you know, that, that's where I was able to, to use that program and the completion of a program just to add value. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about how it helps your, your business in just a second. Um, but, you know, I just, I feel like completing a program is, is so impactful on other people because raise your hand if you've ever started a health and fitness journey and not, not finished it. Yeah. Okay. Everyone, everyone that follows me also knows that I've done literally every other program out there that has a fancy name. I've done it. I've tried it. It didn't work for me. They need to know that this can work. That's so so important. So now we're going to talk about how it's helped grow or how it can help grow your business. So um, first off, we really do need to be products of the products. It's not, it's not a gimmick or a funny saying that Carl likes. We actually have to do it. You have to show them that it can be done. You have to show them what it's all about. You know, I can talk about, oh, 21 Day Fix, it comes with, it comes with workout DVDs and it's a mix of yoga and Pilates and, and weights and cardio. And then it comes with these containers and it comes with this great shake. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that doesn't mean anything to so many people. They have to see what is it like. I, anytime I'm doing a new program, I always make videos of some of the moves that I'm doing. They have to see what is it like. Like I can talk about how it's about weight training. Well, to someone that, that means sitting on a bench with a 50 pound dump barbell, just you know, just doing bicep curls. That is not at all what the 21 day fix is. When I say it's Pilates, you know, some people might think I need a giant contraption, not just a $6, you know, um, resistance band. Um, and when I say it's 30 minutes and, and, and it's doable at any level, I, they need to know that. So you are really showing them and that's where it's going to be increasing your business because they're seeing what you can do and they're seeing what it is. They're, they're kind of, um, getting a sneak peek into a challenge group because you're motivating them, you're inspiring them, you're showing them what your meals are. Um, you know, when when they see those little binky containers, when I saw that yellow container come in my package, oh, if you could have seen the look on my face, I was like, I was like literally angry at this little yellow container. I was like, I'd be freaking kidding me. But then once I started using it, once I started cooking with it, and I could make these giant dishes and. Um, you know, fill in with other foods and, and a yellow, when you, when you put a, a yellow of quinoa in a bowl, it's actually, it's actually quite a lot. Um, when you learn that the oatmeal has to be cooked before it goes in the yellow container, that was kind of a bummer. I did it for the first like two months uncooked. It was really filling, but not good. Um, you know, I, and you know, I shared about that, like, oops, I goofed. Yep. I've been eating like three yellows extra a day for, for a couple weeks now, but well, that makes sense, you know, but so I was just showing that, you know, this is what it is. This is what it's like to do this program. I am a busy mom. I mean, I say busy mom, like there are non-busy moms. It's kind of like redundant, um, but I am, I am a busy, <laughs> busy mom for all you unbusy moms out there. Um, you know, I have two kids. I have, I have two jobs. I have a husband with two jobs in a grad school program. I have Everything, just like everyone else in this world, I am, I am not special. I do not have, um, you know, means to extra hours in the day. I've just as met, me and Beyonce have the same amount of hours and I'm going to rock it just as much as she is. And I'm just going to do it in 30 minutes though. So those, that's one way we, we build our business is by um, giving them a sneak peek. I know people have recently been talking about doing the sneak peeks with um, challenge, challenge group sneak peek. And I think that's a really cool idea. This is a way to do it live on your page. It's like how uh, when Bonnie talks about, you know, you don't need a coaching sneak peek. Your page should be a coaching sneak peek. That's how I feel about challenge groups. Um, that's how I treat my page. It's a sneak peek into my challenge group. You know what you're going to get when you come into my challenge group because I do it every day on my page. I'm real on my page. I share what's working, what's not working in the program for me. I share my struggles. I share my food, share my shakes, share my workouts. 
people will know. People have commented to me also about not having seen a workout of mine in a while. That means I'm not working out. People might not say it to you, but people will notice. Um, so that's a really important piece also is um, the seeing is believing piece. They need to really believe in you because remember at the end of the day, they could buy a challenge pack on Amazon, but they chose to go to you. So why did they choose to go to you? And, and believing in yourself and believing that you have something to offer them is going to give you the confidence um, to be more successful in your, in your journey. So um, I, I love this quote or this uh, little picture too. Um, this was in my first challenge group banner and, and I keep it, keep it around because this is what you have to do if you are going to complete a program. You, you think about it, you set a goal for for it and you just you just crush the crap out of this um, and then you repeat it and you do it every day for 21 or 30 or 60 or 90 days or however long your program is um, and then you just keep going like that until you have the exact success in your business that you wanted um, so that was that was the end of my PowerPoint I don't oh these were all my pictures <laughs> Um, I don't think I had anything else to share. Do you guys have any questions or any, any, any stories any, or any, I, any questions about how to sh Oh, there are chats. I missed the chat. I'm so sorry. Um, okay. Anthony can hear us. Do the before and after pics for the context always have to be from, no, nope. Um, you, when you're at Maggie to answer your question, when you're, you're submitting your before and after picture, you can tell them it, you know, it was eight rounds. Uh, six rounds when I submitted my first 21 day fix I put down like three rounds because I by the time I got around to submitting my pictures I've been doing it for a few, few months um, um, Sam yeah. when, I, when I'm finally brave enough someday Katie's seen my like reel before a picture but I've literally only shown it to her and one other person who I trust very much but when I finally am as brave as you are someday it's like really good <laughs> and by really good, yeah. it's really bad. <laughs> um, but I'm not, I'm not there, but I, 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 get, I'm, I look at you so much and I'm so, I mean, mine looks a lot different than yours, but um, in a bad way, but I'm very, I am very inspired by vulnerability and bravery. So well, keep it thank up. You. Thank you very much. I actually, I can pull up, um, just a second, one more thing. My my before and after picture, they're usually on my desktop somewhere. And Maggie, I, if you submit for it, it doesn't necessarily mean anyone's going to see it. And if they call you and are like, hey, do you want to be used? You can say no. So you can at least mm -hmm. look at your free shit. Yeah, I had to sign a waiver for them to use my pictures. You don't have to sign that waiver. Yeah. Then I'll we'll see. Yeah. Um, just a second. I'm finding my my actual like from the first day I started the program. Um, well, you're looking for those. Um, yeah. I just wanted to comment that I liked how you said about admitting your mistakes because you know if we if we are even if you fully commit to a program and then um, you know you may have a mistake if that happens. Talk about it. You don't have to hide those things and and act like you're perfect. Um, you know, I've definitely done some posts where, I mean, I fall off the wagon and, um, oh, that's great. Yeah, that, this is me. Actually, this is me like three weeks after I started the 21 day fix. And this is all me in the sun right now, my actual. Um, cause if you, if you talk about your, yeah, that was the amazing. Yeah. This is my transformation. This, I don't even recognize this girl, whoever that. Mm. This is me. I mean, I don't look like that today. That was, that was an, that, that was great. But um, I do it again. every time. Like I want, I want great results. I, I just know I can go back to that. Um, so you don't always see this one. I, I don't love putting this one out there, but mm -hmm. this one, this one is what brings me credibility because people look at this girl and they're like, oh, okay. Even when they looked at my transformations for the twenty one day fix extreme, like only lost like four pounds or something like oh okay great she went from skinny to skinny that's what some people have actually said to my face um i actually got a little bit of negativity from this but then i, I dug into the pt and told the haters to flock mm -hmm. but um they're like oh great big deal this 
is where people are like, yeah, okay, she, she wasn't fit. This, you know, this just looks like a fit girl. This looks like a real girl that worked her ass off to get there. So that's where you're, you're really, um, when I talked about the building the credibility, like they want to know, like actually being thin now has made me lose credibility with some people. Like what Danielle and Tony was uh, the Super Saturday, I mean, it was talking at our um, our Super Saturday uh, last month. That like you know, being a fit, skinny girl when I started this program, she had to work t- two, three times as hard to get people to trust her. You know, um, and you know she was naturally fit, so she didn't have the struggles of not feeling like going to the gym, like you were saying. I have that struggle every day in my life. Every day in my life, I pass a place where it has donuts that I want. Mm-hmm. You know, like you, and you have to share that. And today, I I wrote the stronger boss heart. I shared about I shared a very vulnerable video in my challenge group today about how crappy my day was with it. So um, that's a good point to highlight, Katie. Is like you just have to be real with it. Like, you know, yes, I was great for twenty one days, but I still struggled during those twenty one days. I have struggled since. I will struggle for the next two hundred and twenty one days, five hundred and twenty one days. I'm not perfect. Sam, I feel like <clears throat> number one, I didn't I've known you for so long and I, I Katie probably has known this forever, but I didn't realize we were so similar in so many ways. But <clears throat> it's shining now. <laughs> yeah, like I I really had no idea that we had this like these connections. Yeah. But one thing that's like really resonated. So when I first started doing like for real the programs with you guys, I did it in January, like the very beginning of January, and I was just like you, like zero cheats during the 20 minute fix. Like literally, I was as faithful and dedicated as I think like the perfect person could be. I lost like almost 10 pounds. I like it was I was and th- and that before and after picture is what got me a ton of credibility. And I will in full disclosure, I haven't done it like that since for like a number of reasons. Like I got I've been like so sick. Like <laughs> I've been sick like every other week since then which are excuses, but I, my personality kind of similar to yours is like when I get sick and like I, I fall off for like a week or whatever, cause I'm sick or like I have a, a, like I've had stomach bugs and I haven't been able to eat for a week. Like once I'm done, I'm done. So I literally haven't had that momentum since the beginning of January, but this call is very motivating to me because I'm, you're making me realize how significant and important that time was. And like, I can get it back and it's important to, I like I just it, it's you're putting a mirror in front of me very much right now to realize that I have I I need to be more committed which is not what you're you're not like being more committed but yeah but it's true like that was the best I did and the the best feedback I've gotten from people was right at the beginning yeah it is a reality check for every single coach out there there is no coach in this company that doesn't struggle or you know Nikki Johnson who's like you know, more, the most successful coach I know mm-hmm. she struggles constantly with her health and fitness. I mean, mm-hmm. it's, it's, you know, some people, just because we're health and fitness coaches doesn't mean health and fitness comes naturally. Actually, for most of us, it means it doesn't. Mm-hmm. So we do have to fight every day. And being on a program for people that need that commitment, some people just can eat right every day and you know do work out here and there and, and have, have the results that they want. Most people can't. Um, and so for me, like I just started 22 Minute Hardcore a couple uh, last Monday. And you know, it's 60 days and that's going to be a huge commitment to me because I'm so space cadet mm-hmm. Results with the 21 day fix extreme came, the results came easy. The work was hard, but the results is a no break. Mm-hmm. You do the 21 day fix, you do the 21 day fix extreme, you get results fast. That's how the program is built. But it's also really hard to keep up that level of commitment mm-hmm. and momentum for more than 21 days. So you have to level it out and you have to find something that's livable. So like I get to other programs, like I started Masters Hammer and Chisel and I quit because I wasn't getting the results I wanted as quickly as I wanted. That wasn't showing. And I'm sure people notice on my page, I stopped posting about Masters Hammer and Chisel. I never addressed that I quit it publicly. Um, I'm going to finish 22 minute hardcore and then I'm going to do, um, just chisel. Um, they have a, they have half, 
half a program and I will address it publicly that about how I started it and stopped it. Um, so that's just another chance for you to be real. That's all people want is for you to be real. Yeah. A lot of people I find also as your customers will ask, um, what happens when you fall off the wagon? I know like it's in every single challenge group. I have a challenger ask that. Do you start over the program? Do you mm -hmm. pick up where you left off? Do you just keep going? What, what do you do? Um, you know, I think it's a, kind of an individual thing and depending on what program, if it's not only when they fix and they miss four days, they need to start. In my opinion, they should start over. I mean, you got to, that's a quarter of the program, you know, start over. Um, if, you know, it's, you know, they've missed a day or two because they were sick and, you know, or they had something else, you know, maybe that's not the end of the world. If they're, you know, three weeks behind in, in P90 or um, hammer and chisel, start over. Um, I don't think there's any problem, you know, and just say don't look back. You know, it's just like everything, don't look back, just go forward and try again. I mean, I think my new, like, slogan of the year is what's the worst that can happen? Like, just start over. It's not, <laughs> it's not going to kill you. It's not going to take away the results that you had from those two weeks. It's just going to set you up for better success. So, um, you know, or if they're, if they're on week day 18 of the 21 day fix, you know, definitely figure out where they're at uh, and they missed two days. I wouldn't make them start over. I'd be like, no, just finish it out, you know, or make up those two, do two, two doubles and know their personality too. Um, to know how they'll react to that and can they deal with doing a whole another 18 days or whatever their type of thing is. Um, so um, I just, as we wrap up here, I just wanted to make sure that when you guys are picking a program, um, I would love us all to start a new program. If you're not doing a program like full on to start one on Monday, um, there are a ton on Beachbody on demand for free. Um, so if you don't have one that you're into, you can start a new one there. Oh, excuse me. Um, doesn't matter how many days you're not a group accountability, do what you want, but I, I strongly recommend it. Use your own Facebook page as your accountability group. Everything you post in your accountability group, like in some way should be on your Facebook page. If you're finding that you're not having anything to post about, it's because you're not doing this. Um, it's, it's easy to post a sal you know, your salad and whatever healthy meals you're eating. If you're eating them, it's easy to post your Shakeology if you're drinking it. It's easy to do a workout picture or video if you're doing it. Um, so just make sure that you're, um, um, that, you, that you do make a commitment. To do that. And if you do, post about it, talk about it, and make sure that you're focusing on your niche market also. Um, I know for me, like, I did like the size workout once and that's just wasn't my jam at all. And, um, I, I don't know. I would just focus on your niche when you're talking about these things and make it public. And, um, I think that's all I have. Um, do you guys have any questions or, or comments or any concerns or anything? Um, that was awesome, Samantha. Thank you for that information. I just wanted to also say that um, I know we have a ton of groups going on right now. Tomorrow's last day of the Emerald group. Rachel was the only, so far is the only person that's rank advanced um, in that group, but I thought it was a good group. Um, I made, created the group. I have to share it after we get off this call for the sneak peek on Monday. So um, if you, if there's an uh, someone who's not on this call asked about that too, but um, if you have someone who has kind of talked to you about it or been liking a lot of your stuff, send them a message. Be like, hey, just so you know, I have this free group going on on Monday. I'm going to add you to it. You totally um, can just, you know, be a fly on the wall. You don't have to participate if you don't want to. Um, it just kind of just dives into a little bit of what I do as a coach, and I think you'd be really good at it because of X, Y, Z. Um, and then just good, Katie for like for just like discount coaches. Um, no, for business builders. Or but for discount coaches, I mean, who who might be? Oh. Like, they could already be coaches. I'm sure. saying. Like, yeah, that's fine. Yep. Sorry. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, I personally like to ask people before I add that, or not really ask, even tell them, just be like, Hey, I'm adding you to this group. If they don't want to be in it. They can leave or they can turn off the notifications. Um, I signed up because of a sneak peek group. So, um, I, I will share the link in our team page after this call. Um, let your coaches know it can, it's a whole team wide thing. So anyone who wants to be in it, um, Nikki's not doing hers anymore. So I'm going to be doing them more often. Um, and then we have the. 
very quiet 30 day training group. I think it's on day 17 now. So, um, that's all right. Those, that's how it goes. It's not a big deal. Um, it'll, it'll pick up. And, uh, if you are hearing from your coaches, like, you know, I am, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying everything, but it's not working. I heard that today. Um, I'm not, I'm, I've tried everything. I, it's not working. I'm like, well, you haven't posted once in either of the training groups. I haven't seen you like or see a comment in either of the training groups, so I cannot help you. I mean, there's my help. Like, I, I kind of said that. I mean, what do you want from me? Do you want me to, like, press play for you? Because I can't do that. No one, can, no one can come press play for me, so I can't run, you know, make you do your homework. Um, and then, so those are the two groups. Um, the Push to Diamond group, I think, is going great. I just posted in there, but I did the video I have um storage issues on my phone um and it'll be picking up on Monday a little bit more fast paced um so I think that's all the groups and Monday is summit registration so it's going to be a little chaotic like the Punta Cana I will post in my team in our team page what I'm doing. I'm signing up for the Silver Track Grand Ballroom. It's Nikki's. Um, it's what my success partners and I are doing. You guys do not feel like you have to join me. You're obviously, I would love you to be there. But if you, there's someone that you're more drawn to, you can look at the list of speakers. It's in the summit um, group. Um, there's a list of speakers um, and different topics. Pick what you want. It's a few hours. Um, the workout, I'm going to try to get the country heat. I have a feeling it'll be packed by the time we get to sign up, but we'll see how it goes. So I'll be on that day on Monday. I think it's at noon, but I haven't heard the time exactly um, to see, to keep you guys all in the loop. And if, if, if I don't get the grand ballroom, um, silver grand ballroom, I'll be doing the silver hall C. Um, those are my choices. So I'll put in the group, um, but definitely register on Monday as soon as you can. Um, and more rooms will be coming available on the like 21st, whatever day that is, um, 22nd, something like that for hotel rooms, because that's when, if you are like, I have a room at the Gaylord that I'm getting rid of because it's too far away. Um, so that'll be open to someone, unless someone wants the Gaylord and I can figure out how to give them a, give them my reservation. Does anyone on here want that room at the Gaylord? Yeah, it sucks. Um, <laughs> and then in the summit group, um, and in the summit group, and I think in Team Positive, you posted something about if you need a room or roommate or anything, um, there's a bunch of information out there. So um, I think that's all I got. Sorry, this call went a little bit longer, but um, I think that was some valuable information, Samantha. And I have to think about what program I'm going to commit myself to Monday. Um, yeah, definitely. I want everyone to post in the group. My Sunday night, what I'll start a thread in the group. What you're committed to, so you, you, we'll all hold each other accountable. And I'll have a accountability group oh, yeah. starting a week from Monday. And when I open it up, as always, you're you're invited to to join me in that if you've got challengers or if you just need an accountability group and you don't have any challengers right now. I'm happy to. Coaches need coaches. Um, so I'm, I'm excited to see what you guys are doing. I'm doing 22 minute hardcore. I just started it last week. It's great. I miss extreme. Yeah. I think I'm going to do either 21 day fix or 21 day fix extreme. Yeah. Um, I'm a little paralyzed on 21 day fix. All I'm allowed to do is Pilates and upper body. So <laughs> super ripped. I'm surprised um, Pilates. That's hard on your lower body. I know, but I can somehow I can do it. I, can, I literally can't do anything else. So I'm super stagnant and annoyed. But well, check out Beachbody On Demand because there's so many different programs on there yeah. that are upper. Like you can just look like upper, that upper body beast. Bored. <laughs> yeah, Body Beast has an upper or like Body Beast actually has a back, shoulders and by. So man, it's like three different upper nest so oh i will check it out for yeah. sure i don't know what's on demand but um check it out awesome so i'll post this recording in the group i will post the group the sneak peek group in the group um and whatever else i talked about does anyone need to take it to summit does anyone need to take it to summit no everyone on here has anyone know of any if anyone knows of anyone send them my way i have an extra ticket thanks sam that was really helpful Good refocusing. Thank you. That was good. Yes. Yeah, Very organized. And if you guys look at your old uh, national wake up calls, I definitely suggest listening to the one that the person did on 
I'll I'll try to find it and pick the, find the date. It was it was it was like that call was life changing for me. When I'm on a national wake up call and they say, "What was that aha?" <laughs> I'll say it was that call that told me to actually pick a program and exactly. what I read. <laughs> then you should have no problem doing your three to five posts a day. <laughs> yeah, you definitely, if you're doing a program, your work becomes much easier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Awesome guys. All right. Thank you. Enjoy your weekend and I'll see you soon. Bye guys. Bye. Bye.